All right, we're joined for the balance of the hour by Matt Dubiel, a guy I've had a chance to meet a couple times in Austin. And he's had us on for a couple years now on his uh, fine station he manages, WCKG in Chicago, 1530, WCKG.com. Uh, they got a power-packed lineup uh, there on the station. And he's been asking me to come out to Vegas and speak at an event. And I've had a lot of family issues and a lot of stuff going on. I will come, I, I, I've told George Norrie I'll go to be on his TV show, but I just can't do it in January. Too much is going on. But I do plan to come out to one of his events uh, in the future. But that's not why Matt Dubiel's on with us today, though he'll tell you about that with a bunch of talk show hosts that's coming up. I wanted to get him on to pick his brain about Chicago because I've been to Chicago many times. My cousin lives in Chicago, beautiful city. Uh, amazing views, a lot of great theaters, a lot of great culture, a million things to do. I like the people in Chicago. I mean, like I said, I got family lives up there. Great place to visit. And only certain areas are obviously have the high crime rates. But what is it like to live under the mayor, whose brother, of course, wrote Obamacare and admits they're trying to bankrupt the country, basically, and bring in socialism? What is it like with them? I heard doubling property taxes when you sell your property. What, what are they thinking in Chicago uh, in their push to ignore federal rulings that they've got to uh, give people gun rights? Uh, what is it like, Matt Dubiel, as an American patriot, to be living right in the epicenter of the New World Order? And what's the feedback you get from your listeners? You know, Alex, uh, not only did his brother write the bill, but uh, his other brother is uh, Ari, the uh, the super agent that is uh, is the the character and entourage is based out of. And, and these guys know how to uh, negotiate. They know how to rule and they know how to make sweeping changes and influence people. And I, I don't know anybody that lives in downtown Chicago. Our, our mutual friend, uh, Mancow, used to live in the city. He recently moved out to the suburbs. I mean, it, it, there, there was a time, Alex, when you could go down there and you could park for a quarter, 50 cents, a dollar. Now the parking is outsourced to another company, uh, which uh, it might be owned by a German company, our Chicago parking. You've got taxes, you've got gunshots, you've got uh, just a, an outrageous area and, and it's dripping out to the suburbs. So you have folks like me that live out in the suburbs and have lived here for a long time. And all we hear about is Rom this and the Chicago schools. My kids don't go to Chicago schools. Uh, but, you know, it's like you said, there's a lot of good things about Chicago. I went to the uh, the Bears game the other night, Monday Night Football, and, and Ditka's number was retired. And it was a big deal. And I had free tickets, so we went. There was nobody there. No one. Now, it was cold. It gets cold here in Chicago. Uh, but that doesn't typically stop Chicago Bear fans from going to Chicago games. I saw the same thing happen at the Cleveland-Pittsburgh game the other day, where the Pittsburgh stadium was darn near empty. Well, why is that? Why, why is it that all of the storefronts that are for lease, the retail spaces are empty? Something is going on, and uh, it, it, it's not... Um, it's not by accident, I don't think. Uh, Chicago's starting to feel a lot like Detroit these days. Well, that's the plan. And after they've imploded it, they'll buy it for pennies on the dollar, then make it an economic development zone and give themselves tax exemption. They know what they're doing uh, as gangsters. And I know there's pushback. Everybody I talk to from Illinois, uh, which is a great state with great people, looks at the actual city of Chicago that's small compared to the suburbs as a cancer how do you finally kick the gangsters out of there that run things? How do you finally, uh, you know, deal with that cancer? Because just like New York City tries to dominate the rest of the country, Chicago politicians are trying to tell everybody else what to do. Uh, they're always calling for troops on the streets, martial law, to fix the problem they created by not letting citizens have guns. Well, I tell you, I don't know what you do, but I know what you don't do. And what you don't do is tell citizens in the Chicago, in the, in the actual city. I mean, I live in the suburbs, so you can have uh, firearms in the suburbs. It's not uh, ruled under Chicago uh, ordinances and so on. But in Chicago, uh, people that abide by the rules, people that have legal guns can have legal guns. Uh, even in some of the uh, suburbs on the outskirts that are very close to the city, same thing, like Oak Park and other areas. So what you don't do is take guns away from the good people. You know, I, it breaks my heart to see people on television. You see these poor mothers and their child was was hit by stray gunfire in a bad neighborhood. And I, maybe they can't leave, but I'll tell you what I would do. I would leave. I wouldn't stick around to try and fight for my neighborhood. I would leave because if they're not going to let you protect yourself, you know how long it takes for 911 to get to your home in oh, Chicago? Oh, well, they've also all the videos in Chicago where folks beat each other to death. Are they going to cut our hands off to make sure that doesn't happen anymore? 
Well, yeah, I mean, it, you, you have flash mobs going through Chicago stores, organizing on the internet. You have gangbangers, you have drug cartels. I, I mean, it's no secret there are huge drug cartels operating in Chicago. And I don't. I think they have a lot of resources. I think with the resources of the the local government, the state government, the Chicago government, and all the other entities, they should be able to figure out where those guys are, cut off their supply, and get busy. But they don't do that. What they're doing is they're coming after guys like me that live in the city and saying, "Well, you you can't have a gun. We we can't let you have a gun in the in the city of Chicago. Guns don't work." That's because the government wants the monopoly of power and force over the people. But I see the average American, the average f f person up in Illinois really getting it now that big government has caused the problems. It's not the solution. Matt Dubiel, um, again, great manager of our uh, fine affiliate up there in Chicago, 1530. Where do you expect short term, midterm, long term? Where does your gut tell you this country is going? Ugh, it, you know, it's, it's scary because... Uh, every year, I have four little kids. I'm married. I've got kids ranging from 11. Uh, my youngest is going to be two in February. Uh, and uh, every year, we take a summer road trip. We, we drive around the country, the great United States of America. And the last two years, uh, we, we did a loop to loop. We went through Ohio and we went down to Nashville. And uh, last this last summer, we went up to New Jersey and back. And as we drove through, I saw firsthand the America that most of us don't see. Uh, most of the people in, in Austin don't see it. Uh, it we, we live in very privileged areas. The rest of the country looks like a bomb fell on it. The rest of the country looks like it's third world. The rest of the country is is decap. It, it's it's completely destroyed. Wow. You got billboards where you know companies just stopped advertising on them because nobody's driving down that highway. The 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 uh, the paper is blowing in the wind, and I'm driving through there, and I'm thinking to myself, my gosh, boy, when my grandparents took my father and his brothers and sisters around the country to the Grand Canyon and stuff, there was the majesty and the wonderment of traveling down uh, Route 66 and seeing these great little shops and these great little restaurants and these great diners. Where is it? I don't know where it is, but I'll tell you what I saw in downtown Indianapolis. 80% vacancies, uh, stores that are closed, stores that aren't even open on a Saturday at five o'clock, ice cream shops that have nobody there. I'm seeing it here. You know, we live in a very affluent suburb, okay? And and DuPage County is is pretty pretty well off in general. Lots of business, uh, Ace and McDonald's and all these big companies are, are based here. And you drive around and you go to some of these stores. You go to some of the grocery stores and the big box stores. There's more managers than there are customers. There's more employees than there are customers and you can't get any help. So I, I look back and I think to myself like, well, what would my grandfather say if he saw this? You can't have a store. It doesn't take a rocket scientist to figure out. You can't have a huge store with huge property and huge overhead and huge heating bills and have nobody buying in the store. Something's got to change. And I'll tell you the, the, the fast track to ruining that is raising minimum wage and having them pay the employees more. Because I'll tell you what, they're going to cut those employees back. All those guys standing around at that store waiting for customers, they're going to cut those guys. Oh, well, look at Obamacare making everybody go like a third of the population from 40 hours or more down to 29, 20. It's happening. Listen, Austin is per capita, the wealthiest area, the fastest growing, the best place in America. And I've lived here since high school and I grew up in Dallas. I go back to Dallas, it looks like a bomb hit it. It looks like when I've been in bad cities in Mexico, it is falling apart. The people are freaked out. The affluent areas have wear and tear on them. It's not the wealthy town I grew up in. Austin, most of the restaurants I know have shut down. Even the trendy places aren't busy most nights. Movie theaters are empty when you go to them. They have literally gutted this country. We're in a decade into a depression with them telling us that we've never even been in a recession. And, and, and their answer is more taxes. In fact, Mancal was telling me, and I read about this on the news, they doubled property taxes when you sell your house. I mean, is that accurate, Matt Dubiel? Well, I live in the suburbs, so uh, Chicago property taxes, I can't speak to from... Yeah, but he said, I mean, I looked it up, they said they did it, but the point is, is that is that he had to sell his place. I mean, this is insane. Well, you know what it comes down to? The other part of Chicago is, is the schools 
are deplorable. God bless some of those teachers that are going in there. I know that there's great teachers, and this is the downside of, of talking about a problem that's this big. It's, it's the big elephant in the room. And the minute you start to talk about it, great teachers feel slighted. There's tons of great teachers in there. But I, I gotta tell you, the Chicago schools are and have been in trouble. Because the curriculum is two plus two equals five, and the name father and mother is abusive. So, I mean, they're given curricula, yeah. curriculum that is meant to screw the kids up. Common Core and uh, New Math. New Math was the first problem. Common Core was the second problem. And then you have to start asking yourself, well, okay, am I going to send my kids to private school? Well, okay, let's They're under the same curriculum now. They're accredited. Exactly, except you have to pay a premium for it. So then what are you going to do? I sent my children to homeschool academy two days a week, and they were nice Christian folks that ran it, hundreds of kids. But they said to be accredited, they had workbooks from Michelle Obama. Yeah. And it, and I'm and then we went to another homeschool group same deal. They've taken over, folks. I mean, it's we're in a cult. I'm sorry, go ahead. Well, you know, it, it's one of these things where you you go out and you go to the movies and if it's a popular movie here, the movie theater is packed. And then you come out of the movie theater and you look at the five stores next to the movie theater, there's nothing there. There used to be maybe a, a Jamba Juice. Exact it? same thing here. It's it's everywhere, and and Alex, I, you you call in, and I run a business, so I'm looking for space from time to time, and I know you guys have too. You call these places, and and they don't want to negotiate; they want to tell you, well, here's what the price is. Well, typically, I, you know, call me crazy, but when supply goes up and demand, no, no, listen, listen, we finally find good places to get vitamins and minerals. We call up and go, we want to buy a thousand bottles out a month. They just go, nah. We don't feel like it. We don't want to, uh, and 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 come. People don't have. It's. I think you're hitting on it, Matt. People now don't even have the drive to be successful. And mm -hmm. I, I think it's a spiritual thing. It's not just economic. Have you found that? I, I think it's, gosh, you know, and I just kind of got chills. Um, it, it, yes, I think there's a combination of a spiritual thing. I read uh, an article might have been at InfoWars about people getting anxiety from, you know, being on, on their smartphones all the time and, and becoming connected to the web or, or to uh, devices. That's right. It's causing anxiety attacks from the computer screen flicker, especially the new screens. Anxiety disorders are way up. Well, and it used to be we'd sit around the table, have a cup of coffee, and talk to each other. And, and I, you know, I'm not 100 years old. I'm not here to tell you that it was so much better in the 30s. And, and, no, uh, but you just hit what it is. It's the last decade, and the smartphones are rewiring everybody's brains, mine included. And people now don't want to talk. They want to live in la-la land looking at their little baby computer. And those of us that are somewhat resistant or immune to it, we're going to end up inheriting the earth. Because I'm telling you, the general public doesn't have interpersonal skills. They no. don't have work ethic. They don't have anything. I've got to hire like 10 people now to find two or three good folks. And I've got a great crew now. I know exactly what you mean. You do have a great crew, but it, it's a it's a it's a full time job to find those great people that you have because you have to. It's like panhandling for gold. You have every every business owner and executive I talk to tells me they've never seen anything like it. It's like Day of the Dead. It is, folks. It's the vaccines. It's the GMO. It's everything. I mean, we and look. I'm not on some high horse either. I'm, I work out hard. And they've gotten a little bit healthier, but I still look like a slob. I mean, they are soft killing us. Matt Doobie, I'll stay there, my friend. Everything we said came true. Everything we've done has been right. And by the way, if you're listening to us in Chicago, it is so important on our AM and FM affiliates all over the United States that you tell people about the station. It is such a blessing to be on AM and FM. That is still the vast majority of our listenership. And that's where you can really tell people, hey, tune in. And a lot of their lineup with Peter Schiff and others really exposes what's happening. And we're in an info war. So it's precious to have stations in big cities around the United States. And I intend to try to get more station managers and owners on because they're always so interesting. You've heard some of them on the show. In fact, if you're a station manager or owner and uh, you've got an idea of coming on, we'd like to see you run it past us. Send that to showtips at infowars.com or contact GCN because we always like to get your perspective you know, once a week or so, we ought to have a station owner or manager on to talk about what's happening in your area. Uh, but I cannot tell you how important it is to be supportive of their sponsors or to become sponsors. Talk about helping fund the info war. The most essential thing to do is to be a sponsor or a supporter of the sponsors of our AM and FM affiliates. Now, going back to Matt Dubiel, you were making the point that something's wrong with people. And, and I have the statistics, the numbers here. Toddlers obsessed with iPads. And it's hurting their development. ABC News. 
Uh, I've got a, another one right here. Adults ending at 25. Well, actually, you go into puberty earlier, but then act like a baby until you're older. We are screwed up, and it's not all by design. A lot of it is this decadent society yeah. that, that we all contribute to. Uh, I, I'm going to be honest with you, Matt. I more and more like wake up in the middle of the night thinking, get my family, shell everything, run to a deserted island somewhere in the South Pacific. <laughs> but, but then I realize we're not going to beat this plague by running. No, I in, and I'm I've been the same way. You know, I have four kids. I've, I've lived in uh, in the Midwest my whole life. Everything I have is here. My grandparents, God bless them, are both 95 years old, and uh, they're they're here. My father, yeah, everyone is here. I've I've never uh, entertained the idea. And in fact, I didn't even want to travel much over the last couple of years because of business. I started to travel a little bit, and uh, I, I meet a lot of these guys that are really big into this expat movement where they move to Chile or Belize or wherever. And and my thing has always been, especially I'm I'm very patriotic uh and and certainly that alignment has changed over the years the idea of being an american you don't want to give up the fort right well and and what being an american is supposed to be is what i'm for i'm not necessarily going to stand here and blindly salute a flag uh that that is uh being run by people that have no idea what they're doing Sure, exactly i gotta stop you right there do, do five more minutes with us and finish your point about what it means to be an american and where you see this going matt dubiel but briefly tell folks about the las vegas event and you've got some free tickets available for our listeners only yeah, so uh, we're having an event. It's called Passport to Freedom. I've learned that people are pretty much in two camps. They're either in the camp that we're in, uh, the stay and fight, or they're in the flight camp and they want to get out of Dodge and they want to go live somewhere else. So we got a three-day event. It's called Passport to Freedom. We're going to give away some tickets to uh, Alex Jones listeners. I got six tickets to give away and uh, it's going to be in January in Las Vegas off this trip. It's not super expensive and uh, usually these events are in Panama or someplace uh, out of the country and uh, we've lined Peter Schiff up to be our keynote. He does afternoons on the same station here on WCKG. Uh, Jeff Berwick, we got a Bitcoin expert. We got second passport experts and it's split, so it's for guys like me and you that want to stay here and kind of shore things up while we're staying here, or there's also some content there for people. You know, I said I can't go, but I'm telling you, I'm tempted to go just because I want to look at this stuff myself. It's funny I, I brought that up because, because that's what this is about, but also how to survive it if you stay or if you go. I just, I'm afraid if I go, I'm going to end up leaving the country. I'm just going to be honest with everybody. We'll be right back. Hi, I'm InfoWars reporter Leanne McAdoo, and as we age, it is inevitable that we may experience a slowdown in vitality, energy, sexual drive, and overall well-being. The reality is that in addition to the natural aging process, the experts admit that our body is continually being hit with a barrage of what's known as gender-bending chemicals, and that's just for starters. So avoiding these chemicals has always been really important to me. And that's why I was so excited to speak with Dr. Edward Group about what's really going on, specifically to find a solution to the root issue. And what I found was that as experts around the world are now revealing, core hormone levels in many men and women are dropping, but especially men. Testosterone, growth hormone, DHEA, all are being affected. Introducing InfoWars Life Super Male Vitality. Fusing herbs and other essential ingredients to help support your body's natural hormone balance. Developed by Dr. Edward Group and produced at a highly accredited natural products manufacturer, Super Male Vitality is designed to aid the body in ways that may support normal testosterone levels in men. Focus on improving your sexual vitality with the stimulation of libido and sex drive. Deliver hard-hitting benefits while completely free of GMOs, gluten, and harmful ingredients. And it's all made here in the USA and supports our operation. Single men, married men, I recommend that you get a hold of InfoWarsLife.com Super Male Vitality today. And your woman won't be disappointed. Wars.com and I suddenly saw an article that had like a hundred comments that just went up a few hours ago, go to 570. And I didn't even have to ask. I said, is that linked on drudgereport.com? And I went and looked red linked under duck dynasty, Pennsylvania, Pennsylvanians coerced into giving cheek swab at voluntary checkpoint. And now Sibelia says you will pay more 45 states still haven't hit 10% of enrollment goals. 
Yeah, it's all total fraud. It turns out most of those that still think that they've been enrolled haven't been enrolled. So it's just fraud on top of fraud on top of fraud. Obama has the worst approval rating since Nixon. And people are abandoning their puppet. Uh, Matt Dubiel, again, uh, tell me more about this event and the date of it. Because, you know, I really like Peter Schiff. And uh, I've been trying to get him back on as a guest lately. So maybe the only way I can make him be a guest is if I go out there and grab him by the arm and like a caveman, throw him over my shoulder and march him over to the uh, radio booth. I'm joking. But uh, tell folks about what's going to happen at this event coming up. So there's two kinds of people. There's the people that are ready to go move to Belize. And then there's guys like me that are sick of dealing with the TSA. We got Peter Schiff coming, uh, Jeff Berwick, uh, a Bitcoin expert, a second passport expert. And then there's people that are going to come to this event in Vegas. It's called Passport to Freedom. And they're going to help guys like you and I, Alex, who just want to get through the TSA without problems. I mean, maybe that's not you or I. I've definitely given them some uh, some problems, and I know you have too. But uh, there's people that just want to get through. They just want to squeak through. They don't want to have trouble. And uh, there's, so there's going to be guys that teach people how to kind of stay put and just deal with less of the BS. And then there's going to be guys that teach people how to start making plans to maybe get rid of some things, scale back, and maybe move to greener pastures, wherever those might be. So we're going to give away six tickets to uh, Alex Jones fans, people that go to Infowars.com at uh, Freedom1530.com. Everybody that uh, that goes there, I'm going to send you a discount code because uh, we want to have, it's a very small event. And you, you talked about supporting sponsors and stuff. I don't have a lot of advertisers here on this radio station. It's There's not a lot of retail locations, period. Uh, then you go to those retail locations and you try and tell them, uh, hey, Mr. Mr. Baker, uh, you, you bake great bread. I want to I want to have you advertise on Peter Schiff and Alex Jones. And they look at you like, whoa, I don't know. You know, it takes them a while to get to that point where they're ready to support this kind of programming. Uh, so this event is another way to do that. And I want to pass along this uh, this discount code to everyone that's listening at uh, Infowars.com and across your your network. So Freedom1530.com is where you can go. I'm also going to pick six winners just to get free tickets on us. And it's going to be a small event. Peter's going to be keynoting Jeff Berwick. Bitcoin, second passports, uh, business opportunities offshore, other things that a lot of us don't ever hear about. You know how it is when you're here. Uh, it's just like vitamins. By the way, this beard and this hair are powered by vitamins. I take lots of vitamins and I eat lots of nutrient-dense food. And that's how people listen and can't see it, but... That's how my grandparents lived to be. No, I've, I've gone out to dinner with you and folks a couple times. You're a really healthy guy. And I wish, I mean, I was rolling healthy for about 10 years. And it's been a fight to get back. But without the vitamins and minerals and things, I couldn't be doing this now. What do you make of them coming out and saying, now, if you have all the nutrients you need, you don't need vitamins and minerals. That's like saying if you have an oxygen tank at 200 feet under the water, you don't need oxygen. It's but if you don't have it, you've got to absolutely have it. It's a total semantical mind game laughing at everyone, weaponized media. It's, I, you know, Alex, I have my, my four kids, my youngest hasn't been vaccinated, hasn't uh, had any, just uh, no, no surgeries, no nothing. She's the healthiest out of all four of them. My kids all get vitamin D and vitamin C every day. But now another part of that is, is, you know, typically when you try and take vitamins, they're giving you niacin and other knockoffs of the vitamin. So that's right. There's all the synthetic crud. You got to get the real thing, which they use in these studies as well. All right. Give us the website one more time for folks that want to be part of this event in Vegas. Freedom1530.com. Thanks again, Alex, for having us on. And uh, we want to hook everyone up with a discount code. All the fans of the Alex Jones show, uh, freedom1530.com. And maybe we'll see you there. All the right. Who knows? I, I tell you, <laughs> maybe if I go, I'll never come back. All right. Stay with us. We're going to look at the globalist takeover. Now you can watch Alex Jones live at Infowars.com forward slash show. You'll find links to all of our content there and a free 15-day trial for Prison Planet TV. You can also browse the network, the Infowars Nightly News. And over 60 movies and documentaries all together in one place. You can watch the Alex Jones Radio Show live as it happened. So check it out, Infowars.com forward slash show.